The film begins with a guy named Park Jae-hoon. One day, his best friend, Gu Yo Ryum, gave him a call. Yu Ryum asked him to grab some chicken claws and a bottle of soju to help ease her sadness. Yu Ryum was a TV producer, and she was in a somewhat uncertain relationship with a chef named John Chang, who also happened to be her colleague. Even though they went out together quite often, John hadn't officially made her his girlfriend, which really frustrated Yu Ryum. Shortly after, Yu Ryum got a call from John Chang, who wanted to meet up to talk about something important. However, what he revealed during the conversation was quite surprising. He considered Yu Ryum to be nothing more than a best friend, despite the way he had been acting all along, which had led Yu Ryum to believe there was something more between them. This made Yu Ryum really angry, and she left the conversation feeling annoyed. When Yu Ryum got back home, she had a chat with Jae Hoon, who she's known since college. Interestingly, they both lived in the same building, with Jae Hoon upstairs and Yu Ryum downstairs. One day, Yu Ryum faced some trouble at work. Her boss got mad at her, because the TV shows she produced always had low viewer. So she had to put in more effort, otherwise, her team might end up with reduced pay. Things got even messier when she discovered that another producer, Che Ri, had stolen her idea and got high ratings for it. Che Ri was a tough and bad producer who would do anything to get good ratings, even if it meant including inappropriate scenes in her shows. Despite being told by higher-ups to tone it down, Che Ray remained stubborn because she believed those scenes were what made her show popular. On the other hand, there's a guy named Sang Woo who works with Yu Ryum. He told her that Chi Ray had hired John Jang to appear on the second season of Kingdom of Love. Word was, John Jang had turned down 100 dates just for this event and was even ready to show his backside on camera. So Yu Ryum turned to Jae Hoon for a favor. She asked him to be her fake boyfriend for just one day and come to the event looking all cool. The day of the shoot went smoothly, but during a break, Yu Ryum overheard John Jang talking into a live microphone. That's when she found out the truth that John Jang had been using her all along because dating older women saved him money. Not too long after that, Sang Woo came over with some news. He said the filming drone had gone missing, and if they couldn't find it, they'd have to start all over again. They searched high and low and finally found the drone, but it meant Yu Ryum had to dive into a mud bath to get it back. Just when she was feeling all muddy and gross, Jae Hoon showed up to pick her up, but he was dressed pretty casually. Yu Ryum felt super embarrassed and told him to scram. When he got back home, Jae Hoon got a call and had to rush off to meet his mom and sister. Turns out, Jae Hoon came from a fancy, rich family. His mom and sister were having trouble picking a painting to put in an art gallery. Then, he suggested they go with the one on the right because his late dad had liked it. His mom even asked him to agree to a blind date. Later on, Yu Ryum met up with her two best pals, Hai Jin and Dash Shik. There, she spilled the beans about how Jae Hoon had made her feel awkward in front of John Jang. Finally, Dash Shik told Jae Hoon that John Jang had been toying with Yu Ryum, and it was time for Jae Hoon to step up and be cooler about it. After that, Jae Hoon found himself on a blind date set up by his mom with a lady named Jae Yeon. She's an arts manager and a university lecturer. Unfortunately, the date didn't go too well because Jade Hoon didn't seem all that interested, and Jai Dian felt hurt because she had put a lot of effort into getting ready for it but got ignored. Later, Jae Hoon apologized for going on the blind date because of his mom's pressure and some personal problems on his mind. Then he got all dressed up and headed to pick up Yu Ryum at the shooting location. This time, he looked quite charming and elegant. At that time, Yu Ryum was on a mission to give back John Jang's necklace that had fallen into some super-aged soy sauce. At the same time, Jae Hoon took great care of the task because that soy sauce had been aging for seven years. His success caught John Jang's attention, and he even invited Jae Hoon for lunch. But suddenly, Jae Hoon showed up to pick up Yu Ryum. This made John Jang curious about their relationship. Then, Jae Hoon explained that he wanted to make a strong impression on Yu Ryum and didn't want to be in a relationship without some status. Besides, she was someone who always captured his heart. The following day, Jae Hoon had a meeting with Dr. Choi. At that time, Dr. Choi suggested that Jae Hoon should return to the hospital and become a neurologist again. But he turned down the offer, and it seemed like there was a troubling past that made him hesitant to go back to the hospital environment. In the past, both Jae Hoon and his late father had worked as neurologists at the hospital. However, for certain reasons, Jae Hoon decided to resign and work at a clinic as a plastic surgeon. Meanwhile, Yu Ryum kept getting scolded by her manager. Her team had to boost the TV show's ratings in a week, 
or their salaries would be reduced. Because of that, Yu Ryum came up with a plan to film crab catching to try and boost the show's ratings. Around the same time, Jai Yeon paid a visit to Jae Hoon's clinic and invited him to dinner. Jai Yeon was just looking to make friends because she had been living in America for a long time and didn't have many friends. Eventually, they agreed to have dinner together on the weekend after meeting on a blind date. Later that night, Jae Hoon, Yu Ryum, Dashik, Hai Jin, and Hyun so all got together to have a good time and share some laughs. But during the gathering, Dashik brought up something from a few years ago. Back then, Yu Ryum had a boyfriend named In Wu who proposed to her, making her really happy. However, a few days later, In Wu found out his company was transferring him overseas. At that time, he asked Yu Ryum to take a break from her job and go with him. But she refused because she didn't want to give up her dream job. Sadly, this led to a big argument, and In Wu ended up leaving her. Later on, Yu Ryum asked Jae Hoon to pick her up, but suddenly, he received an emergency call and had to rush into surgery. He had to make a tough choice between two patients, who both needed immediate surgery because there was only one operating room available. In the end, he chose to save the accident victim because they had a better chance of surviving. Sadly, the fire victims had more severe injuries and couldn't be saved. After the surgery, Jae Hoon got the heartbreaking news that the fire victim was his own father. His father had been in a gas explosion while trying to rescue the accident victim. His injuries were so severe that he couldn't even be recognized, and he had passed away. After that, Jade Hoon left the hospital and blamed himself for his father's death. This made him keep to himself and isolate from others. The only friend who could always lift his spirits was Yuriam. She even invited him to come live in her place, since the second floor was vacant at that time. Fast forward to the present, Cherry was approached by one of the people who appeared on her show. They wanted her to delete a fight they had during filming, but Cherry refused because she thought high ratings were more important than the person's feelings. Meanwhile, Yu Ryum was supposed to film crab catching, but she wasn't allowed to join because it was considered bad luck. Fisherman believed that women brought bad luck at sea. So, Yu Ryum asked Sang Wu to take over her role in managing the shoot, and she waited for him until the next day. Unfortunately, she couldn't rest in the car because Sang Wu had taken her keys. On the other hand, Jae Hoon was having dinner with Jae Yeon, but he had to leave in a hurry when he got news from Hai Jin that Yu Ryum was stuck on the beach. When he arrived, Jae Hoon invited Yu Ryum to rest in his car. The next day, the fisherman came, and the filming went smoothly. At that moment, Yu Ryum's kindness and trust convinced Sang Wu not to quit his job. As days passed, the show's ratings didn't improve so the director decided to cancel Yu Ryum's program. She felt even sadder when she had to celebrate her birthday all alone. Meanwhile, Jade Hoon was having dinner with Jade Yun because their previous dinner had been postponed. When Yu Ryum got back home, she got a big surprise that Inwoo was there. Turns out, he had come back to Korea to see her and brought cake, flowers, and an apology for her birthday. But Yu Ryum didn't want to go back with him and asked him to leave. At the same time, Jae Hoon happened to see her with a birthday cake from a distance too. Then, Yu Ryum celebrated her birthday with Jae Hoon. Afterward, he helped her put up a mosquito net in her room to keep them away. While doing that, things got a bit confusing, and they both ended up falling down while trying to catch mosquitoes. The next day, Chi Ri had a visit from someone seeking revenge, and it caused quite a commotion. She ended up with a broken nose and had to go to Jae Hoon's clinic. He also offered him a chance to be on his TV show, but Jae Hoon simply turned it down. Meanwhile, because of the previous drama, the manager asked Yu Ryum to join the Kingdom of Love Season 2 show to help keep Che Rai in check. At first, Yu Ryum turned it down, but after thinking it over, she agreed, but with the condition that her whole team could be a part of it. She did it for the sake of her team's financial stability. In the evening, Yu Ryum got a call from her mother saying her father had been rushed to the hospital. Soon after, she hurried to be with him and tried to reach out to Jae Hoon for help but he was busy and didn't know about it. Then, unexpectedly, she ran into In Wu. In the end, In Wu offered to take her to the hospital. When they got there, her father needed surgery right away. Thankfully, the operation went well, and her father started to recover. Her mother told Yu Ryum to go home because she had to go back to work the next day. She also expressed gratitude to In Wu for helping her daughter during this difficult time. When In Wu got back to Yu Ryum's place, he insisted on staying for dinner. Since Yu Ryum didn't have much of a choice, she invited him out of gratitude. At that time, In Wu saw this as a chance to connect with Yu Ryum on a deeper level. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon returned home 
and realized Yu Riem was within Wu. So he purposely created a scene to make Yin Wu leave right away. But his actions upset Yu Riem a lot. A few days later, Yu Riem and Che Ri finally collaborated for an audition. In that moment, they had different opinions about who should qualify for the Kingdom of Love Season 2 show. Yu Riem believed that Ji Wan, the plus sized girl, should make the cut to keep the event natural. However, Che Ri thought that Ji Wan would ruin the event. In the end, Che Ri decided to let Ji Wan in. But if the show's ratings turned out bad, Yu Riem would have to take responsibility. Later, Jae Hoon shared the news that Yu Riem's father would be coming home the next day. Previously, he had a direct talk with the doctor who treated him, and even gave an envelope to help with the hospital expenses. One day, Inwu asked Yu Riem to dinner at a restaurant. Without any hesitation, he popped the question and proposed to her right then and there. However, his good intentions left Yu Riem feeling uncertain. She still had some feelings for him, but deep down, she was also haunted by past events. Because of this, she couldn't give him an answer right away. When she got home, Yu Riem turned to Jae Hoon for advice on whether she should accept In Wu's proposal or not. According to Jae Hoon, she should say no. He thought Yu Riem shouldn't accept someone who had left her for work. However, at 37 years old, Yu Riem also wanted to get married and have kids like most women. While at work, Yu Riem received a balloon that said, Will you marry me? Plus, she got a pair of fancy shoes for their next meeting. All of it was a gift from In Wu. Meanwhile, Hai Jin tried to persuade Jan Hoon to confess his feelings to Yu Riem. She was convinced they loved each other. Unfortunately, he was hesitant to do so. One day, In Wu paid a visit to Jae Hoon at his place. He warned Jae Hoon to keep his distance from Yu Riem because they were going to get married soon. However, Jae Hoon refused, so In Wu proposed a friendly competition. He set a rule that Jae Hoon couldn't use their friendship to win Yu Riem's heart. Later, Jae Hoon attended an art exhibition hosted by his mother and ran into Jae Yun, who was quite close to his mom. During their conversation, Jae Yun asked if she was his ideal type of woman. Unfortunately, Jae Hoon told her they should end their relationship because she kept making him curious. Afterward, Jae Hoon contacted Yu Riem because he had something important to discuss. It was raining at the time, so Jae Hoon planned to pick up Yu Riem from her office. However, In Wu also showed up to take her out to dinner. In the end, Yu Riem chose to go with In Wu rather than Jae Hoon. In Wu later told Yu Riem about his meeting with Jae Hoon, where Jae Hoon had asked him to stay away from her. And Wu refused to apologize, believing that there was no such thing as friendship between men and women. When Yu Riem got back home, she immediately sought out Jae Hoon to discuss something important. She expected that Jae Hoon would bring up the incident with In Wu earlier in the day. This annoyed Jae Hoon, and he thought Yu Riem was too quick to forgive. He believed she shouldn't have fallen for a man who had once left her stranded. This disagreement led to an argument between them. The following day, Yu Riem's parents came to visit. Her mother accidentally found a ring that In Wu had given her. Her mother told her to accept In Wu's proposal right away. After giving it some thought, Yu Riem decided to meet In Wu and accept his proposal. Then both families met to choose a wedding date for In Wu and Yu Riem. Unfortunately, the venue they wanted had been fully booked for the past six months, and the only available slot was for next month, which came with a discount. Although it felt sudden, Yu Riem agreed to get married next month. She began packing her belongings to move in with Inwu. She also said her goodbyes to Jae Hoon, thanking him for his help all this time. One day, Jae Hoon came across a pre-wedding photo of Yu Riem and Inwu in a chat group, and making him consider confessing his feelings to Yu Riem, but he decided against it because Inwu was also present. A few days later, just 10 minutes before the wedding was scheduled to begin, Yu Riem was approached by a woman named Rai Yun. There she revealed that she was pregnant with In Wu's child. However, she didn't want to ruin their marriage and intended to keep the pregnancy. Now the decision was in Yu Riem's hands whether to go through with the wedding despite In Wu's involvement with another woman. Ultimately, Yu Riem met with In Wu to discuss everything. It turned out that he had kept this information hidden because he didn't want their marriage to be called off. Yu Riem was deeply disappointed by everything he did. Even though In Wu apologized, she couldn't continue with the marriage. In front of all the guests, Yu Riem made an announcement that the wedding was off. In this tough situation, it was once again Jae Hoon who stood by her side. Then he took Yu Riem to an inn near the beach to help ease her sadness. Interestingly, this place was where Jae Hoon was all alone when his father passed away. 
Even though Yu Ryeon was feeling really down, Jaehoon encouraged her to have a meal, because being sad also takes a lot of energy. In the evening, Mrs. Kim, the owner of the place, shared her story. She had lost her husband on her son's birthday and had to raise her children on her own. However, as they grew up, they left her, which eventually led to her feeling depressed. One day, Mrs. Kim collapsed on the street and was helped by Jae Hoon. After this incident, she invited Jae Hoon to her home. However, due to his busy schedule, he couldn't make it. But eventually, he visited and asked if he could stay there for three months. During this time, Jae Hoon mostly kept to himself in his room. Mrs. Kim could tell that he was deeply sad, even though she didn't know the cause. She also questioned Yu Ryum about her choice of being with another man when someone as good as Jae Hoon was right by her side. The next day, Jae Hoon convinced Yu Ryum to come back home. He didn't want her to drown in sorrow because of her problems. There he said he didn't want her to feel trapped in loneliness, just as he had felt before. While on their way back, Yu Ryum received news that one of the cast members of Kingdom of Love couldn't make it. As a result, she was asked to come to the office immediately. When she arrived, she re-scolded her for being unreachable and not caring about her failed marriage. Instead, she re-insisted that Yu Ryum should invite Jae Hoon as a participant in Kingdom of Love. On the other hand, In Wu continued to wait for Yu Ryum in front of her house. Jae Hoon quickly confronted him, telling him to stay away from Yu Ryum. However, In Wu remained determined to fix his relationship with Yu Ryum. Meanwhile, Yu Ryum had contacted her mother to let her know she was okay. Her mother apologized for pressuring her into a rushed marriage and realized it was her fault. She promised not to force Yu Ryum anymore. Afterward, Yu Ryum asked Jae Hoon to participate in the TV show Kingdom of Love, even though he that. Surprisingly, Jae Hoon agreed to do it for Yu Ryum. Long story short, the filming proceeded with each participant introducing themselves in front of the camera. At that time, John Jang was taken aback when he learned that Jae Hoon was also taking part. To add to the surprise, Jai Yan was also joining the event. Then the participants were tasked with gifting clothes to one another, to be worn at the party that night. Those who didn't receive their clothes on time would have to attend in their underwear. In between shooting scenes, Yu Ryum had a chat with Jae Hoon in his room. She was curious about how he knew Jai Yan. Eventually, Jae Hoon confessed that he was paired up with Jae Yan for the event. He also asked Yu Ryum to meet up after filming because he had something important to discuss. Meanwhile, Jai Yun didn't receive clothes from the male participants for the party. There, Che Ri suggested a plan for Jai Yun to become the center of attention at the party by pretending to fall into the pool, making the male participants come to her aid. Reluctantly, Jai Yun followed that instructions and ended up wearing pajamas. However, this situation made Jia Hoon unable to tolerate it, and he stepped in to help Jai Yun. After the event concluded, Jae Hoon and Yu Ryum had a conversation. At that time, he decided not to rush expressing his feelings because he understood that Yu Ryum needed time. He was willing to be whatever Yu Ryum needed, whether it was a friend or something more. The next day, Junho decided to talk to Ju Won. He had a plan to date someone who wasn't very popular to boost his own popularity. At the same time, Jae Yun went to the clinic to ask Jae Hoon why he was taking part in the event. Jae Hoon explained that he was only there because Yu Ryum had asked him to join as a substitute. Then Jae Hyun suggested that they pretend to be partners so that things wouldn't get complicated since they already knew each other. Today, all the participants had to introduce themselves and show off their charm. John Jang was a chef, Ta Mai was a weather forecaster, Jumin Ho was the CEO of a startup company, Ju Wan was a webtoon writer, Jang Goon owned a fitness center, So Yan was a language teacher at an academy. Hoon Yi was an ice hockey player, Su Mai was a lawyer, Jai Yan was a Western art teacher at a university, and Jae Hoon was a doctor. When Jae Hoon introduced himself, he kept looking at Yu Ryum with a lot of emotion, which made Cheo Rai start to feel suspicious. On the other hand, Jai Yan joined the event because she had been rejected by someone she loved, and she hoped to meet that person again. This made the other participants curious about who the man she was talking about could be. After they finished filming, and Wu came to see Yu Ryum to say sorry for everything that happened. He hoped Yu Ryum would give him another chance, but she hurt deeply and she couldn't forgive in Wu. Meanwhile, John Jang and Tom Mai started getting close to each other. Tom Mai was interested in a few guys, including Jae Hoon. Then, John Jang told Tai Mai to stay away from him because he had many girlfriends. He also mentioned Jae Hoon's connection with Yu Ryum. 
John Jang even talked about his own relationship with Ye Ryum. The crew overheard the conversation, and it caused trouble for Ye Ryum. She tried to explain that her relationships with John Jang and Jae Hoon were just friendships. Later, she talked to Jae Hoon and told him that she wasn't ready for a romantic relationship at the moment and just wanted to be friends. The next day, the participants were going to play sumo to decide who they would go on a date with. Jae Hoon won the game with his strong physical strength and chose Jae Yeon as his date. Then it was the women's turn to play, and Jae Won won with her larger body and chose Jun Ho as her date. To make things more exciting, Chi Ri suggested that Jan Hoon and Jae Yeon do a kiss scene to boost the Kingdom of Love show's ratings. Today, Dashik and Hai Jin were in charge of preparing food for the crew. Hai Jin also gave Yu Ryum some words of encouragement as she dealt with her recent failed marriage. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon told Dashik that Yu Ryum had turned down his love. Despite this, he accepted Yu Ryum's decision gracefully, understanding that she had just called off her marriage. However, he was still stressed about the situation. Dae Shik suggested using the push and pull technique. Jae Hoon should keep his relationship with Yu Ryum uncertain. He should make Yu Ryum feel close to him and then suddenly pull away, so she starts chasing him. Later, Jae Hoon accidentally saw Yu Ryum and Sang Woo having a close relationship. He suspected something special was going on between them, especially after seeing them enter a room together and act suspiciously. This happened while Sang Woo showed footage of Jae Yeon intentionally falling into the pool thinking it was at Che Ri's request. In the evening, all the participants played another game, where the loser had to drink a cup of soju. Juwan was the one who always lost, so she ended up drinking a lot. While she was halfway drunk, Juwan admitted that she had never been in a romantic relationship before. However, when Jun Ho tried to hug her, she pushed him away, looking very scared. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon talked to Sang Wu about his ideal type of woman and whether he liked older women. Sang Woo said he was currently single, and his past girlfriends were usually older than him. Then, Jae Hoon showed Sang Woo a photo of his younger sister, Hyun So, and promised to introduce them. He did this to make sure Sang Woo wouldn't become his competition for Yoo Ryum's affection. On the other hand, Yoo Ryum suggested that Jae Hoon and Jae Hyun's kiss scene be filmed in a room with curtains. The crew would record it from outside to create a romantic atmosphere. Knowing that, Che Rae liked this idea and gave her approval. The next day, Ju Wan and Jun Ho went on their first date. During their time together, Ju Wan apologized for her behavior the previous night. She revealed that she had experienced trauma from harassment by her cousin when she was young. She had kept it a secret all this time and promised to work on changing her attitude. This was all caught on camera, and she replanned to use this revelation to boost ratings. Yu Ryum didn't stay silent either. She immediately asked Sang Woo to check with Ju Wan if it was okay for the harassment incident to be shown on TV. It turned out that Ji Wan had accidentally shared her dark past with Sang Woo earlier. She requested not to air the scene because it could deeply affect her mother. In the end, Yu Ryum told Sang Woo to keep the recording and he would try to persuade Che Ri. However, Che Ri seemed uninterested in Ji Wan's trauma and insisted on airing the footage, assuming it belonged to the company. Finally, Yu Ryum promised to make the event a big success with Jae Hoon and Jae Yeon's kiss, but only if Ju Wan's recording was not broadcasted. At night, right before they started filming, Yu Ryum went to the dressing room to talk to Jae Yeon. She wanted to make sure that Jae Yeon's feelings for Jae Hoon were genuine and asked if she'd be willing to do a kiss scene with him. However, the big question was whether Jae Hoon himself would agree to do the scene with Jae Yeon. Then, Yu Ryum tried to convince Jae Hoon to kiss Jae Yeon but he refused and asked if Yu Ryum would allow him to kiss other women. Yu Ryum didn't say anything in response. From outside, the crew thought everything was in place, so they began filming for the night. Suddenly, Jae Hoon kissed Yu Ryum, and the crew believed he was kissing Jae Yeon. After that, Yu Ryum left because she felt that what happened shouldn't have occurred. The footage of the kiss eventually reached Che Rui, but there was no sound because the microphone had been turned off. This puzzled Che Rui and after watching the recording several times, he began to figure out which woman was kissing Jae Hoon. The next day, Yu Ryum arrived at the office and ran into Sang Woo. He admitted that he had deleted the recording of Ju Wan talking about her childhood abuse. Yu Ryum was really surprised because Sang Woo's actions could make the company very angry. When she returned to the shooting location, Yu Ryum talked to Jae Yeon. Jae Yeon confessed that she had seen the kiss scene between Yu Ryum and Jae Hoon, 
and didn't agree for it to be broadcast in her name. She said she'd leave the event if Yu Ryum truly loved Jan Hoon. However, if there were no real feelings, she'd go along with it and let the scene be shown. Yu Ryum explained that they were just friends, and Jai Yun asked her not to confuse Jae Hoon because winning his heart was very tough for her. Jae Yun's decision was also shared with Jae Hoon, which upset him and made him feel like things were getting worse. In the end, Jae Hoon apologized to Jae Yun and hoped she wouldn't agree to broadcast the kiss scene. Unfortunately, she still gave permission because she was determined to fight for Jae Hoon's heart, even though her love was one-sided. Turns out, their conversation was unknowingly recorded by Chiri. The following day, Yu Ryum asked Jae Hoon to forget about their kiss from the previous day because she found it unremarkable. It was the second time Yu Ryum turned down Jae Hoon's advances. Later, Yu Ryum told Chi Rei that she was the one who kissed Jae Hoon, and Chi Rei already knew about it. Chi Rei asked if it was okay to broadcast it. Yu Ryum then informed Chi Rei about the recording of Ji Wan that Sang Wu had deleted. She tried to convince Chi Rei to forgive Sang Wu, but it seemed unlikely. As a result, Sang Wu had to accept Che Ri's anger and was not allowed on the shooting location anymore. Yu Ryum advised Sang Wu not to repeat his actions since his current role didn't give him the authority to delete footage. The next day, Jae Hoon visited Dae Shik and Hai Jin's restaurant. There he shared that Yu Ryum had rejected him for the second time and he had decided to stop pursuing her. Hearing that, Dae Shik supported his decision. On the other hand, Chi Rei had re-edited the first episode of Kingdom of Love and added a few new scenes. The show was finally aired. Everything seemed fine at first, but towards the end of the episode, Chi Rei included a scene where she kissed Jae Hoon. Then she showed CTTD footage of Jae Yeon, leaving the shooting location in tears. Chi Rei also included a video of a secret conversation between Jae Hoon and Jae Yeon. This left everyone wondering who the person was that had kissed Jae Hoon. Yu Ryum was very upset about this, but instead of apologizing, Chi Ri told her to be grateful because the controversy she created would boost the show's ratings. The TV broadcast of the show made viewers support Jae Hoon and Jae Dian's relationship and wish they were really dating. One day, Sang Woo posted a negative comment about Jae Hoon on their official website, suggesting that Jae Hoon had been fired from the hospital for being a murderer. This led to a discussion among the entire staff. According to Yu Ryum, the rumors about Jae Hoon are not true, they're just gossip. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon and Jae Yeon were filming outdoors. It was clear that Jae Yeon's love for Jae Hoon was one-sided. However, she was determined to win his heart and hope he would eventually accept her wholeheartedly. After filming, Yoo Ryum told Jae Hoon about the negative rumors circulating about him. She asked him for suggestions on how to handle the situation. However, Jae Hoon believed that Yoo Ryum and the TV show would use these rumors to boost ratings. All these problems and Jae Hoon's changing attitude made Yu Ryum very sad. She asked Hai Jin to join her for a drink, but Dae Shik informed them that Hai Jin was undergoing an IVF program and couldn't drink alcohol. So Yu Ryum decided to have Soju alone in the quiet night. Then things got even sadder when she imagined that Jae Hoon had come to accompany her. The next day, John Jang prepared a special dish for Tom Mai. Sadly, after eating it, Tom Mai had to rush to the toilet because his cooking made her feel sick. It turned out that she didn't like John Jang's cooking, and this left her disappointed. She had partnered with him just to get more viewers for her social media account. As John Jang was about to throw away the food, Ju Wan unexpectedly offered to eat it. She praised John Jang's cooking as delicious, which made him very happy. Meanwhile, Yu Ryum met with Ja Hoon to discuss the problems that had arisen. However, Ja Hoon started talking about his unreciprocated feelings and felt like Yu Ryum had only been using him all this time. Afterward, Chiri asked Jae Hoon to clarify an article that accused him of being responsible for a patient's death at the hospital. Hearing that, Jae Hoon was taken by surprise by the rumors and admitted to the accusations. Then he disappeared from the shooting location, and nobody could reach him. The next day, the rumors of Jae Hoon being a murderer spread widely, and some participants believed them, while others did not. Jae Dian was one of the ones who strongly believed in Jae Hoon. At night, a young man named Young Hoon, who had been involved in the rumors, appeared. He had been saved by Jae Hoon in the past. At that time, his story helped Yu Ryum finally learn the truth about Jae Hoon's father's death. For a while, Young Hoon had been trying to locate Jae Hoon without success. It was only when the rumors spread and they found out Jae Hoon was on a TV show that they were able to track him down. 
Today, Yu Riyum planned to pick up Jae Hoon from his hiding place, and Che Ri insisted on having some of the crew along because she expected an interesting scene. Now, Jae Hoon was alone on the beach, and Yu Riyum wanted to approach him and apologize. She knew he had been through a lot, yet she had pushed him to join the TV show. Unfortunately, she couldn't bring herself to do it. At that moment, Jae Yeon was asked to approach Jae Hoon, and the cameraman started recording them. She was deeply concerned for Jae Hoon and told him there was someone he needed to meet. Finally, Gung Hoon and Jae Hoon met each other. Gung Hoon apologized because he believed that Jae Hoon had left the hospital because of him. He felt incredibly guilty because Jae Hoon's father had died while trying to save him, and Jae Hoon had to quit the hospital because he had saved him as well. Because of that, Young Hoon had a strong desire to become a neurosurgeon, just like Jae Hoon, and he had even been accepted to medical school. The events of the day made Che Ri acknowledge Yu Riem's success in resolving the problem. She also realized that Yu Riem had feelings for Jae Hoon, but was unwilling to admit it. In the end, Che Ri decided to confess her own feelings because she had started to like Jae Hoon. When they reached the dormitory, Jae Yeon gave Jae Hoon some warm ginger to help him feel better. Yu Riem had also intended to bring drinks, but she canceled her plan when she saw Jae Yeon was already there. The following day, the entire crew received a gift of grilled chicken from the director as a celebration of Kingdom of Love's success. However, Sang Woo's presence still irritated Che Ri, and she asked him to leave immediately. Soon after, Yu Riem approached Sang Woo and invited him to eat together. She also advised him to apologize to Che Rai right away, believing that she would forgive him and he could return to the shooting location. Meanwhile, Da Shik and Hai Jin remained concerned after learning about Jae Hoon's situation and the reason behind his father's death. Turns out, Jae Hoon had been carrying a heavy burden on his own. Da Shik didn't want Hai Jin to go through such pain, so he encouraged her to talk to him if there were any problems. He also realized that his wife often cried in the bathroom because they hadn't been able to have children. One day, Hai Jin and Yu Riyom went to the sauna to relax. Hai Jin apologized for not discussing her fertility issues before. Yu Riyom was delighted that her friend had opened up and gave her encouragement, assuring her that one day, Hai Jin would have a baby. On the other hand, Che Ri successfully tracked down the person who had been spreading false rumors about Che Hoon. However, he told her to let that person go. Surprisingly, these negative rumors helped him come to terms with his father's death. Later in the evening, there was a horror theme date planned. Each participant was randomly paired with a partner. So Kun Yi with Tainmei, John Jang with Juwan, Su Mai with Jang Goon, So Gyeon with Jun Ho, and Jae Hoon with Jo Dian. Their task was to enter a haunted house and find chalk to write their names on a board. During the event, there were some who pretended to be brave but turned out to be quite scared. After filming was done, all the participants had to rush back to the dormitory due to heavy rain. Meanwhile, Yu Riem was left to pack the hidden camera on her own. As she was about to return, the road got flooded. At the same time, Jae Hoon noticed that Yu Riem was packing the camera alone. So he ended his ties with Chu Dion and went to find Yu Riem. In the end, he carried Yu Riem. Upon arriving at the dormitory, the participants began discussing Jae Hoon leaving Jae Yeon to help Yu Riem. They suspected that Yu Riem and Jae Hoon might have a special connection. John Jang mentioned that Jae Hoon and Yu Riem were close friends. Meanwhile, Yu Riem and Jae Hoon had just returned to the dormitory. Jae Yeon, who saw them, understandably felt very sad. The following day, Su Mai spoke to Jae Hoon about the consequences of his actions the previous night. The audience had given Jae Hoon the nickname of the strong one and Jae Yeon the weak one. Jae Yeon had been teased because she seemed to love Jae Hoon more and his sudden departure had hurt Jae Yeon deeply so he needed to explain his reasons for leaving in that manner. Today, each of the male participants had the chance to choose a woman for a date. Jae Hoon quickly picked Jae Yeon as his partner. John Jang opted for Tae Mai, and Jun Ho chose Ji Wan. Meanwhile, Su Mai became the center of attention for Jang Goon and Hoon Hee, both seeking for her affections. Unfortunately, So Yeon found herself without a date, and it seemed that the previous night's horror-themed outing hadn't affected the participants' choices. This had the potential to make the show less interesting for the audience, so Chi Ri decided to cast So Yeon as the antagonist to generate more interest. Soon after, Chi Ri met with So Yeon in her room and mentioned that So Yeon might feel embarrassed because no man had chosen her. There she suggested that So Yeon should be more proactive in pursuing a partner. 
she argued that it was better to be seen as a villain than to remain unnoticed as a secret supporter and bear the embarrassment. However, her words only added to So Dion's sadness. On different note, Ju Wan apologized to Sang Wu and thanked him. She acknowledged that Sang Wu had accepted punishment and been banned from the shooting location in order to prevent the broadcast of the harassment confession. At the same time, John Jang apologized to Ye Riam for his past actions. He acknowledged his mistakes in how he treated Ye Riam. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon and Jae Yun were on a date, and it became evident that Jae Hoon had many fans who mostly made fun of Jae Yun, calling her weak. Surprisingly, she gracefully accepted this nickname because she genuinely liked Jae Hoon, even if it made her seem vulnerable. However, Jae Hoon didn't appreciate that nickname. He wanted Jae Yun to be seen as strong. To show his affection, he gave her a bracelet made from a rope he had broken. Maybe Jae Hoon didn't love Jae Yun, but he wanted to protect her from bad nicknames and perceptions. On the other hand, Yu Riam felt deeply saddened as her connection with Jae Hoon had turned distant. To make things worse, Jae Hoon was getting closer to another woman, causing Yu Riam's heartache to intensify. Meanwhile, Joon Ho and Ju Wan were also dating, but Joon Ho kept bringing up Ju Wan's harassment case, pretending to sympathize with her, all for the sake of getting it on TV. Cherry got wind of this and ordered him to take the recording to the editing room. In the evening, all the participants gathered to watch a rerun of Kingdom of Love. To their shock, Juno discussed Ju Wan's harassment incident on the show. Knowing that Yu Riam, who was at Da Shik's restaurant, rushed back to the dormitory to meet Che Ri. At the same time, Sang Wu met Che Ri and expressed his desire to apologize. But he backed out when he saw that Che Ri was still airing Ju Wan's harassment case. He felt his previous sacrifice had been in vain. Surprisingly, Che Ri found Sang Wu's actions challenging and allowed him to return to the shooting location. Out of the blue, chaos happened when an unknown man wielding a knife stormed in. At that time, Sang Wu attempted to intervene but got injured in the process. This man's target was none other than Jun Ho. It turned out that this man had fallen victim to Jun Ho's scam, resulting in him losing all his belongings. However, Che Ri didn't show any sympathy instead, she blamed the man for falling for the fraud so easily which only infuriated him further. Thankfully, Jae Hoon and the others managed to fight the man and prevent any harm. Meanwhile, Yu Riem, who had returned to the dormitory, was in shock over the evening's events. Eventually, the perpetrator was handed over to the authorities, and Sang Wu received medical attention. As a consequence of the incident, both Chi Rei and Yu Riem faced the director's scolding for not thoroughly screening the participants. They were instructed to wrap up the event before it gives more chaos. Soon after, Yu Riam confronted Che Ri about why she allowed Jun Ho to participate, knowing he was a person with legal problem. Che Ri admitted that she did it to create drama and attract the audience's attention, revealing she was willing to do anything for the event's success. After this, Che Ri informed all the participants that filming would be postponed for two days, and they were not allowed to leave the shooting location. At that time, Jun Ho attempted to talk to Ju Wan and explain the events of the previous night but it seemed like Ji Wan was gradually avoiding him. On the other hand, Yu Riam and Jae Hoon met up to catch up and chat. Even though they seemed distant, deep down, they still cared about each other. At the same time, John Jang got news that his mom was sick, so he rushed back home. Meanwhile, Ji Wan was feeling bored in the dormitory and insisted on tagging along. When they got to John Jang's mom's restaurant, Ji Wan and his mom headed off right away, even though it was their first meeting. There, John Jang was thrilled when Jae Wan praised his mom's cooking. Spending the day together made them start to like each other. On the other hand, Yu Riam was enjoying some ice cream all by herself, reminiscing about the good times with Jae Hoon. But now, all he could do was sigh as he saw Jae Hoon and Jae Dian, happily sharing ice cream together. The next day, Chi Ri had to face the director because she had posted the CCTV footage of last night's incident. This could have been bad for the company, but Chi Ri believed she did the right thing. She knew the truth would come out eventually. Because of that incident, many people praised Jan Hoon, Jan Kun, and Hoon Yi for their bravery in catching the culprit. But the director still wanted to end the show. Not long after, there were rumors that the Kingdom of Love show was ending soon, and Jae Hoon was worried about how Yu Ria might be feeling. He mentioned that their house was still emptied because he had intentionally rented it to make sure nobody else would take it. He wanted Yu Ria to come back and live there, knowing that finding a place in Seoul wasn't easy. That evening, Yu Riam returned to their old house, and memories of her time with Jade Hoon started flooding back. 
Soon after, Jae-hoon also showed up. In the end, Yoo Ri-um confessed that her feelings were hurt again, and her heart was beating fast because of Jae-hoon. The next day, Chiri asked John Jang to do something they had agreed upon earlier, but he refused because he knew the kingdom of love was ending soon. So she instead asked for a kissing scene with Tom Mai. She threatened to release John Jang's interview video if he didn't agree. So, while all this was happening, so Yeon went to leave early. She felt a bit embarrassed because it seemed like no one was interested in her. But Yu Ryum convinced her to stay a bit longer by promising to help with her problem. Long story short, they finally started filming. Each person got a coupon to give to their date. Jet Hoon chose Jai Yeon as his date, which made Yu Ryum a little bit jealous. On the other hand, John Jang picked Tim Mai, even though he had feelings for Juwan. Juno was supposed to go on a date with Juwan, but she decided to give her coupon to John Jang for just 30 minutes. Meanwhile, Su Mai got date invitations from Hoon Hee and Jang Goon, and poor So Yeon had to deal with embarrassment because no guy asked her out. On the other hand, Juwan's decision to date John Jang disappointed Jun Ho. He thought it would mess up the Kingdom of Love story, but Juwan felt like it was her choice to make. At the same time, Yu Ri-um said sorry for feeling jealous when she saw Jang Hoon with Ju Dian. But they had to be professional and set their feelings aside because of work. Today was the day for everyone's final date. Jang Goon took Sumi to his gym, but it turned out that he just wanted her to watch him practice. At that time, Sumi felt irritated, thinking she was only being used to promote his business. Finally, Jang Goon explained that he had worked really hard to build this place and just wanted to show it to his idol. Meanwhile, Jade Hoon and Jai Yan went to a park. Suddenly, Jade Hoon asked the crew to stop filming because he had something important to say. He apologized for not being able to return Jai Yan's feelings until now. However, he still wanted to choose her until this event was over. Jai Yan was very sad because she had faced repeated rejections, and it seemed like there was no place for her in Jai Hoon's heart. On the other hand, John Jang was pretty disappointed with Juwan. He asked her why she had cut the coupon and only gave him 30 minutes for their date. Juwan explained that she was afraid of being rejected, and since it was their last date, she didn't want to take up more of his time. Their date ended, and Juwan had to leave. Now it was Tamei's turn to go on a date with John Jang. During their date, Tamei surprised everyone by announcing that they were supposed to do a kissing scene. Just as they were about to start, Juwan showed up to return John Jang's cell phone that he had left behind. John Jang immediately chased after her, leaving Che Ri quite upset. She even wanted to make him show his butt on camera, but Yu Ria managed to talk her out of it. On another night, Che Ri was picked up by her stepmother, who told her that her half sister's marriage had failed and blamed Che Ri for bringing bad luck to the family. She even said that Che Ri should have died with her biological mother, which deeply saddened her. Behind her tough exterior, it was revealed that Che Ri had serious family problems. Since she was a teenager, her stepmother neglected her and never showed her any love or attention. When Cherie arrived at the dormitory, she accidentally ran into Jae Hoon. He wanted to know the meaning of love, and for him, love was always there by his side. But for Cherie, love meant feeling lonely. Soon after, Jae Hoon met Yu Ryum, and they laughed and joked together. Cherie saw this on the CCTV camera. Her family problems weighed heavily on her, and she felt like she was always being blamed. To find some sort of satisfaction, she went to Jang Goon's room and asked him to spend the night together. Unfortunately, the towel covering the camera fell, and they ended up having a one-night stand. Jang Goon hoped it could lead to something more, but Che Ri was clear that there was no relationship between them. The next day, Jae Hoon talked to Yu Ryum and told her that he would choose Jai Yun as his partner at the end of the event to prevent any bad rumors about Jae Yun. Meanwhile, So Yan was getting more frustrated with her situation. During filming, one of the crew members couldn't find So Yan, but they had to continue filming because time was running out. Che Ri believed that So Yan didn't have any impact on the event. Today was the big decision day. Each guy had to pick his partner. If both agreed, they could continue their relationship after this event. At that time, Jun Hu chose Ju Wan, John Jang picked Tae Mai, and Su Mai had two men interested in her again but she liked Jang Goon more. Meanwhile, Jae Goon chose Jai Yeon, but she surprisingly turned him down. Jai Yeon realized that she could never win his heart, and she didn't want to hope for something that would only lead to disappointment. Out of the blue, they found So Yeon on the balcony, drunk. Seeing her like that, Yu Ryum rushed upstairs to get her down because it was dangerous. 
While trying to help, Yuriam slipped and fell. Luckily, they had a mattress ready for emergencies. Yuriam had to be taken to the hospital for treatment. This incident left Cheri devastated, and they had to stop filming. Cheri then told everyone to go home. Meanwhile, at the hospital, Yuriam woke up after fainting. His mother was really worried and even suggested he quit his job. This incident also led the director to ask Cheri to write an apology to the committee to avoid any consequences. After a few days, Yu Riyun was allowed to go home. She apologized to Jae Hoon for turning him down before and finally confessed her feelings. Now, they are officially a couple. Soon after, Dai Shik, Hai Jin, and Hyun so came to visit. Then, Jae Hoon announced his relationship with Yu Riyun, and his friends were thrilled for them. The following day, Chi Ri apologized for the unfortunate incident and expressed gratitude for everyone's hard work. Afterward, they had to meet with the director in his room because there were rumors about a Kingdom of Love participant having a relationship with someone from the crew. They needed to address this issue promptly before it escalated. Hearing that, Yu Riyum took charge of handling the situation because she believed it concerned her relationship with Jae Hoon. When Yu Riyum got home, she talked to Jae Hoon about it. She was concerned that people might write negative comments about him, but Jaehoon assured her that he could handle it and face the issue. The next day, Yuriam had to return to the director's room. Rumors were circulating that she and Jaehoon were living together, which was causing people to question the truthfulness of Kingdom of Love. Yuriam tried to clarify that they had been friends for a long time. Later, Jaehoon was asked to participate in filming as a replacement for one of the actors who couldn't make it. Finally, the director managed to resolve this increasingly complex problem. The next day, after some searching, Cherry finally figured out that the person who wrote that news about the crew and cast relationship was Jun Ho. Turns out, Jun Ho already knew about Cherry's one night thing with Jang Goon and even threatened to spill the beans to the journalists if she didn't cough up some cash. But Cherry didn't give in to the pressure and basically told Jun Ho to go ahead and spill the beans to the journalists. Hearing that surprised Yu Riam a lot, and she didn't agree with Che Ri's decision. She tried to convince her to pay up and keep things hush hush with Jun Ho, but Che Ri was having none of it. She didn't want Yu Riam to get dragged into this mess. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon had a meeting with Dr. Choi, who's a senior doctor at a hospital. Dr. Choi is about to retire in a few years and wants Jae Hoon to come back to the hospital and take his place. But Jae Hoon isn't ready to go back to the hospital and become a neurologist just yet. And in another part of the story, Sang Woo met up with Hyun, so for the first time in person after chatting online for a while. Turns out, Hyun so is Jae Hoon's sister. Meanwhile, Ja Yim was feeling pretty down because she was getting a lot of criticism for her performance in Kingdom of Love. So she decided to cheer herself up by going to a shop. One day, Juwon asked Yu Riam to meet up with her in a park. Turns out, Juwan had a flash drive with all of Che Ri's photos on it. Before this, Juwan had threatened Jun Ho to hand over all the evidence and copies. If he didn't, Juwan would tell journalists that Jun Ho had brought up Che Ri's past and approached her just for the media attention. That got Jun Ho to give up everything. Later on, Yu Riam showed the flash drive to Jade Hoon. He could have kept it and used it to protect himself by giving it to journalists. But instead, Jade Hoon told Yu Riam to either destroy the flash drive or give it to Chi Rai. He said that everything the media had reported about him was true, and he was ready to put his past trauma behind him and go back to being a neurologist. After all the stuff that went down, Yu Ria met up with Chi Ri at a shop. They wanted to deal with that flash drive, so Yu Ria put it in alcohol to destroy it. But Chi Ri felt like Yu Ria was being too reckless. She thought they could have used it to clear up rumors about her and Chi Hoon. Then, out of the blue, one of Chi Ri's old school friends showed up and started talking trash about her. Hearing that, Yu Riam didn't take kindly to that and got pretty upset. She told that person to apologize to Chi Rai. So far, Chi Ri had been acting distant, and Yu Riam couldn't figure out why. Turns out, ever since college, Chi Ri had been jealous of Yu Riam's life. Yu Riam always seemed to get attention and love from people, and Chi Ri felt like she never had that. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon told his best friend that he's decided to go back to the hospital. It was good news, and it made them both happy. As the time goes by, Yu Ria made up her mind to resign from her job. However, the director asked her to think it over. He told her she could take a break whenever she wanted and go on vacation, but she'd have to come back eventually. Meanwhile, Jae Hoon officially returned to the hospital as a neurosurgeon. 
A few days later, all the participants from Kingdom of Love gathered to watch the final episode together. After that, they had a cue and a session. Among all the couples, only Su Mai and Jang Goon were actually in a relationship. As for the rest were just good friends. Suddenly, Jun Ho brought up rumors about Jae Hoon and Yi Ryum. Surprisingly, it was Ja Yeon who answered all the questions to protect them. Once the event ended, Jae Hoon met with Jo Yeon to thank her. Even though their relationship wasn't what they expected, Ja Yeon didn't want anyone saying negative things about Jae Hoon. Meanwhile, John Jang offered to take Ju Wan home since it was getting late. During the ride, he opened up about his feelings and asked Ju Wan to consider being in a relationship. The next day, Yu Ryum tells Jae Hoon that she handed in her resignation letter, but the director asked her to reconsider. So Yu Ryum asks advice from him. Eventually, he advised her to take a break and return when she's ready. Yu Ryum had dreamed of this job since she was a kid, and reaching this point was not easy. Maybe she just needed some time alone to clear her thoughts, just like Jae Hoon once did. Time passed, and seven months later, Cherry asked Sang Woo to join her new show, but he declined, deciding to wait for Yeo Ryum, who was on vacation in Paris. At that time, Cherry planned to create a reality show about families to explore the true meaning of family relationships. Meanwhile, Jin Yeon met a man who admired her since her appearance on the Kingdom of Love program and invited her to a restaurant. In the evening, all the participants from Kingdom of Love gathered to catch up. There, Ju Wan and John Jang used that event to announce their marriage. Later, when Jae Hoon returned home, he was surprised to find Yu Ryum back from France. They let go of their longing for each other that had built up over time. Now they could date and be together forever. And the film ends. The moral lesson from this film is if you want to do one-night stand, make sure there's no hidden camera.